Did you know that your refrigerator in your RV has to be fairly close to level for proper operation and that you could damage it uh, if it's too far off level? This is an excerpt from uh, the owner's manual for my refrigerator and it cautions to make sure that you're within three degrees off level or less side to side and six degrees off level or less back to back from the front of the refrigerator uh, in order to operate uh, the refrigerator safely. Now, of course, when you put it in a motorhome, my refrigerator is turned 90 degrees. So in reality, the motorhome has to be uh, three degrees from front to back and six degrees from side to side. If you have an RV, you should have one of these torpedo levels. They're inexpensive. They're only a couple bucks. And uh, they can help uh, determine whether or not your RV is level in order to determine whether or not you can run your refrigerator. However, uh, before you can really do that, you have to calibrate this to see whether uh, where 3 degrees and where 6 degrees is. Well, to make the math easy, um, what I did is I uh, got out a trig calculator and tried a 3 quarter inch rise and a 1 and a half inch rise in the uh, calculator and come up with basically a 14 and 5 16 inch distance. And we're going to use these figures to calibrate our uh, torpedo level so that we know exactly where 3 and 6 degrees is. And the reason why I chose 3 quarters and 1 and a half is because that's the common size of um, uh, finished wood. So if you have a wood board at home, chances are it's 3 quarters inch uh, thick. And if you double up and stack one on top of the other, then you get one and a half inches. So that's why I use those two values. At this point, I'm going to calibrate my uh, spirit level. What I have here is a couple of uh, three quarter inch thick random pieces of wood and just another block of wood and make sure that it's straight. And the easiest way to make sure wood like this is straight is just to look down the end like that and you can see if there's any cupping or bowing. Anyway, I, I marked off a spot here that's 14 and 5 sixteenths um, from this point. So when we take a 3 quarter inch block of wood and line it up to our mark here, then we know this is at an incline of 3 degrees as long as we're sure that this is uh, level. So we can see here this base is level and I'm doing this on a a drill press which is a pretty level. Okay so then when we put this on here you can see that even at three degrees see I can't get it to raise much more so basically at three degrees this level is all the way the bubbles all the way to one end. The same thing here. Okay now We'll also want to check the level at the vertical, just for convenience sake. So in order to do that, I'll take a carpenter square and lay it on the uh, block of wood here. And then, put this here. Now on this one, there leaves a little room for a wiggle room, because you can see I can, if I tilt it more, I can get a little bit more, but actually the center of those two lines is about three degrees. So if the bubble is centered on one of these lines, it's three degrees, and I'll mark that here. And then when the bubble is all the way gone, it's three degrees. And I didn't even really mess with six degrees, of course, because that's beyond the capability of the spirit level. But as long as you calibrate it and know where it's at, then you can make your decision on whether to fire up your uh, refrigerator or not. So remember our uh, specification refrigerator said three degrees side to side, six degrees front to back. Since we've turned the orientation 90 degrees with this refrigerator being fit into the motorhome, now we have six degrees side to side and three degrees front to back. When I put this spirit level in here I see that the refrigerator is about three degrees front to back, which is about the maximum it can tolerate. So in reality, I don't want to start the refrigerator up when it's in this position. Of 
course if we were to look on the other orientation then it is pretty level so it, it would work in one plane but not in the other that's why when we're parked in the driveway where we're at now I'm not going to fire the refrigerator up unless it's a little more level because this this should be ideally a little, little bit more to the center I mean it's borderline but uh, you know why chance it when you're making this measurement uh, I like to make it in the bottom of the, the uh, freezer tray because there's virtually nothing level on this RV. If you look at the floor or if you look at the countertop, they're all off. You know, this, this is off city. Even on the frame, you could probably use that or you can use the base. If we're going to go on a long trip, we'll often come here and turn the refrigerator on the, the night before so that it's cold. Uh, when we pack our uh, food stuff. However, if we're just going to go a short distance, uh, in especially if the coach isn't level, which it is not now, we'll just leave this off and throw all of our stuff into uh, our, a, a cooler until we get to our destination.